Right. This song has got what's known as a content meaning. There is a reference in this song to um, sex of an underage girl. And um, if you want to leave now, that's absolutely fine. As a survivor of child sexual abuse myself, I'm perfectly entitled to talk about it. of the historical cathedral city of York have signed a petition to the Queen to get you removed from that post. So for now, we'll just call you the Duke of Nowhere. <laughs> Had sex with an underage girl. But when we say girl, we probably mean that there's only one that's come forward. Because it's very unlikely that there was just one, isn't it? It's a bit like saying, oh, I've got a mouse. Nobody has a mouse. <laughs> we know he did, she said we did. She hopes she did. We hope he rocks in hell. And when I say hell, I don't mean some biblical fantasy place that may or may not happen after you're dead. What I actually mean is that I hope his every waking moment from now on is full of the same amount of emotional distress that him and his friends gave to those poor, vulnerable, young women because they were. Yeah. Rich white men see how they run Rich white men their time has come They've all made such a mess of their lives Let's cut off their dicks with carving yeah. Yeah. And send them first class post back to their wives yeah. Rich white men Rich white men And in the Queen's big year why couldn't he just be gay? <laughs> or marry a celebrity and move out to LA? I mean, that, that's gone quite well, isn't it? It's gone all right, yeah. He's going to try and buy her off. He's offered her some dosh. When I say dosh, what is actually liable to happen? is he's going to offer her £10 million, which is what is left after the sale of his chalet in Switzerland. And that chalet in Switzerland is actually worth £17.5 million, pounds, but he's got a mortgage of £7.5 million. Pounds. I mean, that makes our mortgages look quite nice. <laughs> no, I haven't got a mortgage, obviously, I'm an artist. But I mean, I'm just in a, in a general feel of things, I think, you know, it's seven and a half million pounds. And where, where did he actually get the money to buy a Swiss chalet for 17 and a half million? Oh, from his mum. Oh, oh, the Queen bought it for him. Oh, that's not, And where did she get. Oh, from us! <laughs> Oh, because we pay them, don't they? The Crown Estates, we pay. The taxpayer pays for the Queen. So realistically, that's our Swiss chalet. <laughs> we can all have a little time check, couldn't we? It's like, yeah, come on, give us the chalet. He's trying to buy her off. He's offered her some dosh. It's not going to wash. And nor does he, obviously, because he never sweats. <laughs> He thinks he'll get away with it just because he's a rich white man. See how he runs. Rich white man, his time has 
come. He's gone and made such a mess of his life. It's cut off his dick with a carving knife. Post it first class back to, well, his ex. Rich white man. Just filled a shopping trolley with booze from the co-op. All right, pretty good. Didn't go to Tesco's. Well done. Filled a shopping trolley with booze and, drew, and, drew, and pushed it back to number ten. But we know that they've had the scooter boys around, haven't they? Yes. Traces of Chang in the toilet. Somebody's got that number in their mobile phone. It's a very civilized audience here. Half of you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Right, it's like this. If you live in London, you've got a number in your mobile phone, it's some bloke, he'll bring you, up, he'll bring you a gram of God knows fucking what, but it makes your, num <laughs> makes your gums go numb. It'll cost you 50 quid, it won't really be a gram, but here we go, you're having a better time. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, so no wonder the boys can't bloody remember any of the rules. You all know what it's like to go to work after a big night, don't you? I mean, I'm amazed if he's had any sleep. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, the eyes. No, no, the eyes. The eyes of the press go where they're told, where they're told, where they're told. The eyes of the press go where they're told. Because right now, while we're all looking over there, and Boris is laughing, because at the moment, two of the most draconian laws are being put through, eased through our parliament. The police bill and the immigration bill. And if you don't, and the, actually the police bill did get a bit of a dressing down yesterday. Yeah, because, because we are on to them. And one of the amendments that got put into that was that misogyny should be a hate crime. That's good. Yeah, that should shut some people up. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, I know. So yes, while we're all looking that way, they are trying to put these bills through Parliament. And um, what can we do? Well, if you've written to your MP, clap your hands. If you've written to your MP, clap your hands. If you've written to your MP, you've written to... If you haven't, you can do it tomorrow. If you can do it tomorrow. If you've written to your MP, clap your hands. Great. If you've been on a demo, stamp your feet. If you've been on a demo, stamp your feet. If not so many, never mind. If you'll go on the next one, go on the next one. Because you might not agree with the demo that's happening now. You might think, oh, climate change, oh, go on, they're all just stopping me getting to work on time. Oh, bloody nuisance, oh, anti-vaxxers, oh, no, I don't agree with them, she all have a booster, oh, anti-vaxxers, boo. But the day will come when there is something that you don't agree with and that you want to demonstrate against and you need a basic human right. only thing that really makes us all feel better, actually, is coming to Kings of Clubs, isn't it? Yeah. If you're coming to the next one, say I am. I am. If you're coming to the next one, say I am. I am. If you're coming, you will be coming to the next one, do you know why? <laughs> because the next one is the 23rd of March. Tickets are live, the early bird tickets are live now on Outside. And it's my birthday! Yeah. If you're coming to the next one, coming to the next one, 
Come into the next one, say, I am.